This is the local and national news from Fabulous 103 FM, and it would be fabulous if you subscribed. It's easy. Click the subscribe button, and at the same time, click the like button too. In the second incident of an incendiary device going off on railway lines, three railway employees were killed yesterday in Songkla province as they cleared the site of the former explosion, which had injured no one but derailed a goods train. With train routes now between the Malaysian border and central Thailand closed due to the risk, a team was working to re-rail the derailed train and wagons, and four others were seriously injured. The use of incendiary devices to harm the public has become a serious issue in the south, where previously a police accommodation block was blown up by a car bomb. None of these regions are tourist destinations of note, and most are listed by various embassies as recommended no-go areas for non-Thais. When asked yesterday about his hope for elongation of stay in the office of Prime Minister, General Prayut revealed that he would very much like to remain as Prime Minister for yet another two years, preparing only then to pass the position on to a deputy. Next year here in Thailand we'll see an election, and all eyes will be on who wins that and whether he'll be able to remain at the top table. Proposals to allow nighttime venues in tourist destination areas to remain open until four in the morning, as opposed to the current one o'clock in the morning plus one hour drinking up time, were due to be discussed in the cabinet meeting yesterday, as it was proposed by the Minister of Tourism. That, however, may well have been nixed, as the powerful health minister, Mr Anutin, told media that he and his department objected to the extended opening hours on several counts. Citing the planned rollout of a fourth booster shot for all ties against Covid, which is planned for early next year, Anutin voiced concerns about the still existing Covid virus, along with potential increases in vehicle accidents. Reality is that unless there's a fast reversal, this high season will not see legal licensing hours extended. In the capital and surrounding areas, eight people have been arrested on charges of pretending to be doctors with none highly educated or with a medical degree, all had either worked or owned beauty clinics, where medical treatments and prescriptions were being carried out. Reported to authorities by the Consumer Protection Police, they all face stiff penalties, despite the growing endemic of online sellers offering self-medication for beauty, including injection packages. One of the arrested ladies, now known not to be a doctor, explained that she'd studied her art on YouTube. Meanwhile, at home and in Pattier, a police visit to the home of a Chinese owner of Club One raided last month, where customers fled ahead of police after hours, has led to officials taking away a reporter's stash of guns, ammunition, documents, cash and more. Amid claims that he'd been using an adopted Thai identity to prevent previous investigations, his 35-year-old Thai partner was arrested in their Naglua home. Nationally and specifically in tourist areas such as our own, police and immigration are doing more and more spot checks on non-Thais asking to see ID. As we explained several weeks ago, photocopies or images saved on your phone are more than acceptable here. And of course you need to have a copy of your visa page too. But those without proof of ID or visa are being taken away for further scrutiny. The nationwide operation is expected to run through to next week and has seen some nabbed for a few days over, with others running into years and years of overstays. But as long as you're legally here, tourist or expat, and have copies of your documents, there's nothing at all to be concerned about. A 33-year-old Thai man with a penchant for taking photographs of strangers from his foot or knee level invading their privacy has been caught in Chambury by police who took away 11 storage devices that had been used for take-upward photographs, which he later posted on a fee-paying group online. The police commissioner in charge advised the public against wearing short skirts. And finally, when a druggie popped a few of his meth pills in a Ban Bung eatery, he was so elated that he left his bag behind when he left. Dutiful staff filmed themselves picking it up and calling the police to report it, this before the man returned to demand it back. By that time less than friendly, he was subdued by staff before police arrived, only to discover his stash of pharmaceuticals in the bag that he'd left behind. His night ended in the cells. And with the Met Office promising another hot one today, 31 degrees by midday as predicted, dropping down to 26 tonight, and the promise of mostly sun. Local and national news today from Fabulous 103 FM and Fabulous Patia Media Group. And to get a notification every time we release another bulletin, or program.
Like and subscribe to our channel, Fabulous Patia Media Group, by using the link below.